This video is the first in a series on uh, replacing the 4.3 uh, Vortec V6 in a customer's Glastron inboard outboard. Um, it has a Volvo Penta outboard and um, not outboard, but yeah, outboard part of the inboard outboard. And the first thing I noticed that I've got to do is reattach the hydraulic cylinders at the bottom because they have hydraulic lines. You can see the hydraulic lines right there. Hydraulic lines are coming in attached to these cylinders, and since the cylinders are attached to the hydraulic lines, I want to keep them with the boat. Therefore, I'm going to reattach the lower pins and remove the upper pins so, so I can take the outdrive off and leave the hydraulic cylinders on the boat. So that's my first step. So the first thing I do, I'm about to do is locate the hardware and reattach these cylinders, and, uh, and then I'll uh, show you the rest when I get prepared to that stage. Okay, this is the next stage. Uh, since I'm doing this by myself, I enlisted my engine hoist and hooked up a chain to the uh, top pin of the uh, Tim, tri Tim trim tilt cylinder, and I'm lowering the outboard down to where I can uh, put the bottom pins in the hydraulic trim cylinders. So, just want to show you this, and uh, so you can see how I'm doing this. All right, just for documentation purposes, the bottom pin is missing one of these uh, sleeves. It's a, just a plastic sleeve that protects metal metal contact, but uh, I have found all those sleeves except one. And I'm just, I, what I did is I took this one out of, the, out of the upper, and I'll buy a new one in the meantime, but I'm gonna use this one in the bottom to replace the one that's missing. That goes right there. I can get it to start, but you know, I'll work it in there and put the nut on and the bottom will be done. Once the bottom's done, I can attach this chain to the outboard in a different way and loosen the top ones. So I can uh, get in the process of uh, pulling this out to drive off. All right, I'm at the stage where I'm just about ready to pull the out drive out. Um, apparently, uh, this SX Volvo Penta is different than most of them. Um, there's no water seal at this joint here. The seals are inside. And so what you do is you take this back cover off and there's a nut and a cotter pin and you, I guess you move this nut and then that, uh, the shift cable will then thread off that thing. Um, it's kind of a pain in the butt, but anyway. Um, to get the shift cable to slide out though, you have to go up in here. There's a nut or a bolt. This bolt fits up in there. And apparently you don't have to take the bolt all the way out. It's got a slot. Just loosen the bolt and slide this slide this metal plate back and forth. Forward, push forward, it's locked. Pulled back, it's unlocked. So that's what unleashes unlock, it unlocks the uh, shift cable, which is up in here. The shift cable's up in there. And the shift cable pulls out, or this pulls off the shift cable when you pull the out drop out. So that's really the only difference between AMCs. So there's no water seal, so water can water is free to get into this cat chamber here. In this chamber, uh, right here. So all I got to do is loosen that, and they pull this whole thing off. So which I'm about to do. I'll start the video again when I'm about to pull the uh, when I got all this disconnected. About to pull it out, drive out. Okay, I don't know if you can see it, but you uh, before you take this little little, uh, I don't know what it's called, uh, not a bracket, but a, a pin off the cable. You need to take a picture of how many threads you're showing so you can put it back on the same spot. Um, once I took the bolt off, or the nut off the end of it, it's allowed to free, free spin, so I haven't taken any off, so I'm, I'm going to use this picture to, to count the threads that are remaining so I know how far to put it back on. I'm about to spin this off and then the cable will be free and I can loosen up the out drive and pull it off. Okay, as you can see, I'm almost free. I've got the three bolts on this side loose, three bolts on the other side loose. The the uh, shift cable is down in there. Where's it? It's pulling out the back, so everything's free there. So a couple more tugs and it'll be free. Uh, what I'm doing? I've got a chain wrapped, I've got one bit long chain, but I've got it wrapped around it four times. So it's supported 
from the bar, the uh, rear tilt bar. And then it's also supported around the other parts. So it's held in a cradle, the chain cradle, the salt bolt in there. And then overall, I've got it up on a I've got it on an engine hoist to help hold the thing up in there. I'm gonna pull it out. Since I'm doing this by myself, it's only it's the only way to do it. It'd be too heavy to do, by, do otherwise without the hoist. So a couple more tugs will be out, and I'll show one more video when it's hanging free. Okay, like I said, a few more tugs with the hoist, and out it came. Uh, so you're looking at the ball joint. Actually, that's a. Uh, it looks like a constant velocity joint, double ball joint. But anyway, um, yes, a CV joint looks like. Um, anyway, uh, you see the the uh, O-ring seals on the drive shaft. You gotta make sure it does good. Uh, looking inside, uh, I think I see some oil, but I'll check in a minute. But since it's on the hoist, I'm just gonna lift it up and, and roll it out of the way and the side drive will be off. So, um, I had to take a break to go get a universal joint at Walmart because I didn't have, or I broke my last one, so I went and got an impact quality uh, universal joint. Because uh, the bolts that are, bolts are inside this little recess you can't get to them without a u-joint so uh, there's six bolts three on each side to hold it to it there's your uh, shifter cable that came out there and uh, that's about it um, I'm gonna check the uh, check for corrosion and the water pump seals and all that or not the water pump the uh, water passage seals when I get this thing swung out of the way but for now, that's the end of the video on how to get the uh, Volvo Penta outdrive off the back of the uh, back of the boat. Next video, we'll be showing uh, the engine being pulled out. Thanks for watching. Okay, this is a video with outdrive pulled. It's now hanging by chains on the hoist. Um, I've rotated the, uh, the yoke, the, the drive shaft going into the outboard, and. Uh, I don't feel any place. I think it's okay. I thought maybe the bearing was, or the uh, seal was leaking fluid, but uh, it turns out it's just water coming out of the lower unit. Um, there is some liquid in there. I'm gonna, it looks like oil. I'm going to find out, but uh, I probably need to take that bellows off and clean that up. Clean the bellows up. Uh, I'll check the gimbal, but that's the gimbal bearing in there. I'll check the condition of that. Um, but uh, it's free, it's out, so I guess that's a good thing. All right, uh, that's, that's about it. Uh, that's how you pull a Volvo Penta outboard. It's not as not as hard as a uh, OMC. I mean, excuse me, it's not as hard as a Mercury's actually. And there's no gasket that goes. There's two gaskets. Um, one is right here, going around the water. The water seal that seals your water system. I'll replace that, and then there's a gasket right inside here. I don't know if you can see it, but oh yeah, I'm trying to get the light over here. The uh, there's a gasket there that this this nose that nose right there butts up against that gasket, and that's that's, that's what seals the water out of the out of the uh, drive system. So, it's like it's working because there was no water in there, so that's a good thing. Alright, I'm going to wrap it up for the night and I'll post this to YouTube. Thanks for watching.